take the time right now and subscribe, share, and also leave a comment in the comment section. Hello everybody, here you are again, you dip at the, at the Earth light. C'est passé! Greetings, welcome back to the Health Light. Today's topic is about several historical figures that has been drawn together and there's some information that it's not readily available. I'm going to speak about a variety of people and their character. This concerns the revolution, the Haitian revolution. Visiting Haiti has done a lot of things for me. It's offered me eyes, deeper eyes, into understanding what kind of things occurred. The oral history goes like this, and it's well known, it's published, and it's documented. Dutty Bookman, he was first in Jamaica. He and Cecile Fatima, they were together at was what's known as Boyce Cayman. This happened and occurred around 1791. Let's give you a little background here. What I'm looking at is we have two major players, major role players historically, the very first of something. Yes, I'm referring to Marcus Garvey and his Pan-Africanism. Moving out now to Haiti, what occurred is Bookman, when he was a little guy, a little child, his mother was uncooperative. She, of course, in Jamaica, the slavery is going on. And due to the fact that the mother was uncooperative, her son was taken from her. That is the worst thing. Anybody there as a mother, even as a father, your child is taking care from you. That is the most devastating thing that can ever happen. He was sold off to a owner, a French owner, and his name is what resonates as Dutty. So you got the Dutty Bookman. Now, when he was transferred over as a slave purchase, remember he was a slave in Jamaica, but in order to get his mother to cooperate, they took her son and sold him off. He is now in Haiti. He is around other people in a similar situation. They're black. They are not interested in participating in living a life as slaves. There are a lot of players in this. Yes, I am focusing on Dutty Bookman and I'm enlightening you that he did originally come from Jamaica. And again, that's told to me directly from people I know from Haiti. They happen to have a lot of founded, they hold on to a lot of history because in their schools, as children, they have history and that makes them know what I'm saying. All, and also, oral history is a tradition that's passed down. Well, here's what happened. You have Toussaint Levateur. You have Dessalines. You have Petier. There are others. There are other women. There are other men who are chiefly involved in this particular circumstances. That is to obtain freedom, to be the first to get the, their republic going. So, while Dutty Bookman, again, he's transferred, sold off 
to Jamaica, this plantation owner, Fatima, let me see, Cecile Fatima. She and him, yes, there were others, but I'm talking about the main people that was orchestrating this meeting. This meeting was largely inspired by Bookman. I'm gonna do a video about certain things that occurred to him, but I'm gonna do it on a level of medical. Also, uh, let me see. He, Bookman, Cecile Fatima, uh, Macandel, all these people. There's a lot of people that's, that's responsible. There's not just one, but he is a chief person that's mentioned as the spearhead, as the beginner, as the let's get this thing done, as the inspiration. That's a great honor for anybody. And what's so great about it is that other people are willing to explain that this is the case. But it was a tour together, it was a cooperative group. In the description, I'll look for some videos to show you where I sought this information from. Uh, meaning the historians that fulfilled and filled in the blanks so I'm able to explain to you what happened, how Dutty Bookman, how he was involved in the Haitian Revolution. The next video I will put together information more in depth about him. Take care.